how could he use it? He could take it to the observatory. The scientists there could tell him how to harness its ancient power. But honestly, Renardo ached to get away from it. He brought the core back with him to the Farfarer. But honestly, Renardo ached to be rid of it. Tell you what, said Lupino. I'll take it to the observatory. You attack the Imperial outpost. The Imperial outpost was a vital communications node. Taking it could shatter the Empire's ability to coordinate. And it would be full of secret plans and maps and maybe even rebel prisoners. It was a good target for a hero like Renardo. But what if Lupino lost the core to the Empire? That could be a good thing, couldn't it? Was Renardo ready to take that risk? Maybe it was better if he brought the core to the scientists himself. Oh, this might be our chance. So first of all, I've never been to the outpost so far. I think I've always avoided this in every single storyline so far. So that'd be a brand new level I've never explored, as far as I know. But also, yeah, we know that score, the core is unstable and dangerous. And with the Sky Ripper being incomplete, maybe it won't end the world. Maybe it'll just blow up. Maybe maybe letting our, the traitor take the dangerous weapon to the enemy is how we win. Anything to get rid of this creepy feeling, Renato thought. The core of the Sky Ripper, even without the armature, there had to be a way to tap its power. The scientists at the Nexus would certainly know how to do that. If he could rely on Lupino to bring them the core, Renato would instead assault the Imperial outpost and gain valuable intel for the Rebellion. He would also stay away from the core's unhealthy aura. It's a good opportunity. If we can go after... The, if we can get, get proper intel and maybe even rescue some uh, prisoners or something at this Imperial outpost while Lupino sabotages uh, he sabotages the Empire while thinking he's betraying us by taking the core there, maybe that's how you win the war. Or maybe it shoots back in my face in another way. As, if there's anything to go by from the stories page, I believe there's 24 endings and what, I imagine one of them is the good one and everything else is some ironic ending. Trust me, Renardo, you won't regret this. I'll treat the core like it was my own baby daughter. As the Farfarer dived towards the Nexus, Lupino was jumping up and down with excitement. Stop rabbiting around, Renardo said. Lupino just stared at him. The moment the ship landed, Lupino leapt off the ship. I can't trust you, but I'm counting on that. As Lupino vanished into the wilds of the Nexus, Renato vaguely remembered Lupino had a baby daughter, didn't he? And he told her mother he was going out to get some Easter eggs, and he'd never come back. But Renato was relieved not to carry the core anymore. He was already feeling better. And who knows, maybe this time Lupino would get it right. And if Renato could take the outpost, he'd have access to all the Empire's communications in the sector. Right? That's really dark. That's really dark that he he basically abandoned his own daughter. So the whole like, I'll treat it like it was my own baby baby daughter totally doesn't work anymore because he abandoned his real one. But also, you know, he's apparently just the least trustworthy person around. There was an Pretty inscription. Scummy. No spitting. No spitting. I mean, now you're just daring me. No one would know. So I thought I hadn't been here before. I think I have. I'm pretty sure we came here while we were trying to capture Zenobia. Either while we captured her or when she escaped, I think we came to the outpost. Just lost track of the locations a little bit. I know I put it off for at least the last... I think for the last two playthroughs, it was saying, like, you should go to the outpost, and that wasn't going to the outpost. What's behind you? Tell me. Tell me everything. There was a breeze coming through that door. Had it been closed before? We're healing up now. And with 150 health, that's a decent amount of health to have healed. Spin, spin! It's just kind of fun to move around as this character. The dash is a satisfying speed boost too. Look at the staircase. Feels like I'm in that weird place from Act 2 of, uh... uh the Arcane Sanctuary, I think it's called? From Act 2 of Diablo 2. Hi, everyone! 
Don't mind me, just gonna chop away your weird power up like power snake. Not a euphemism. I don't really want to hear what you think that means when I say I'm chopping up a chopping your power snake. Hello, friend. Ooh! That was close. Don't mind me while I execute two of your friends. Ooh. Slow-mo really builds up. There we go. I see you there. No sne no no sneaking. There we go. And they are down. <laughs> the end of combat slow-mo that you get if you if you don't press anything for a while is really satisfying. Renato had once invested in a jewel store, but it lost money because someone kept robbing it. Twist. It was him. Renato was he was robbing his own jewel store. That's just self-defeatist, just like most of the playthroughs we've had so far. Renato caught his breath. His joints still hurt, but he couldn't feel the poison in his system anymore. He'd let the armature slip out of his hands to save his friend Lupino. Of course he had to let Lupino take the core. The rebellion needed every man doing his duty. And the rabbit would be no good taking on an Imperial outpost, right? Gross. So this thing really does corrupt you. He still feels sick from it. It would be fun to try out that one. And here was a handy workbench. Oh, I don't have them. No. So what does crit chance do? Your attacks have a 15% chance to do double damage. Not bad. Might be better than the 3% sword energy, which is pretty weak. Probably go for crit over that. Because frankly, we have like 125 sword energy. So, 3% per kill is like th is like 4? Once, he found a Superman issue number 1 in mint condition in a jar he'd broken. He planned to keep breaking things until he had the whole series. Oh wow, found a collectible inside of one destructible object, so now he's going to destroy everything. They wrote an absurd amount of dialogue for this game. It's apparently programmed in there so that it won't repeat itself, so it just will keep going with all of its new content. And they've just kept writing dialogue. Which is, you know, preferable. Nothing, nothing's a bummer like repeat dialogue, besides the story stuff, of course, because if they don't repeat the story stuff, then, uh, these repeated playthroughs of certain part story plots will be very confusing if they don't come explain themselves. Down you go. Oh yeah, I think I saw one of those crits in there. Because I took a pretty big chunk of health out in one hit. There we go. Doing A-OK. -okay. Renato took the outpost with a song in his heart. Soon, he was stuffing his sack with key messages from and to the fleet. Then the Fire Speaker Toad chortled a new message. The observatory had been sacked by ravens. The Pino and all the scientists had been taken to the mountains. Why? Why had he trusted Lupino again? And now the Empire had the core. Renato hailed the rebel base to warn them. But their far speaker didn't crouch back. Was the base under attack too? Alright, so we can try to... That's a, that's a new uh, situation. It probably inv involves going to the same frog location we always have a chance to go to, go to but now Lupino is captured there. That's a totally different scenario. He had to help rescue Lupino. Again! Trusting Lupino at the core was a foolish idea. Now he and the core were in enemy hands. Maybe he should rescue his friend. After all, none of this would have happened if he'd taken the core of the scientist himself. Yeah, sure, but I kind of want this. I want to see this play out. We know that Lupino's not really a prisoner. And they're probably not going to hurt the scientists, because they're scientists, like... The government commissioned them in the first place. Something's wrong at the base. Maybe the Imperials wanted him to rush out and rescue his friend to distract him from the real danger. The, re the rebel base. Maybe you should leave Lupino to his fate and investigate the base. Yes. Lupino would have to wait. The core would have to wait. Renato had a very bad feeling that something was going terribly wrong at the rebel base. Its location was secret. But secrets can be discovered. If Lupino's a traitor, it's probably not that secret. I don't think I've been to the rebel base yet. This should be interesting. There were Imperials everywhere in the ruins. And dead civilians. The Ravens were killing everything in sight. Renato was relieved to see no rebels among the dead. Maybe the secret base was still secret. But there were huge burn marks on buildings. What? 
monstrous weapon was the Empire using here? The Corps had great power. Had they harnessed it somehow, even though they didn't have the armature? I have to wonder. I'll get the core back. It's an, it's an objective. But part, I want I want to see it backfire. That was part of my plan. Oh well. I will say that since one of the uh really needed a roof. Oh, because it's raining. So I do realize that the one remaining fact that I don't have yet, the four truths, uh, does have the silhouette of a Zenobia. And she's not even part of this story so far, so I'm probably not gonna discover that truth right now. I'm wondering, do I do I have to interrogate her? Because that'd be a disappointment. That'd be a dark path to follow down. Hi, everyone. Don't mind me just chopping you into little bits. Yay! Oh yeah, you actually you really feel that crit every now and then. It takes out a pretty sizable chunk of health whenever it hit triggers. I think. It's a little hard to tell for sure if it's triggering. If there's a specific indication of when it happens, I don't think I've found it yet. He could smell charred flesh and hear screams. The ruins were on fire. But the ravens had rigged up the core as some kind of burning ray. They wouldn't need to know the secret location. They were burning everything. It was killing them too. Their black feathers littered the path. You would have to take the core from them. It was the last thing he wanted to do. So they're just actively monsters. They're destroying themselves. As for the gate, well, he could take her or leave her. Sorry, it's best I could do. Take her or leave her, because we opened the gate with a lever. That whole joke only works if you have a very specific pronunciation that Americans don't have. Or at least, I don't, well maybe not all Americans, American, American dialects are so all over the place that who, who the hell can tell anymore. But uh, a lot of people don't even pronounce the word that way. So it just gets all the more confusing. I didn't even have to kill them, it was just satisfying, so I did it. Take that genocide. This is a dramatic staircase. The rebel base seemed quiet. That was good. Also, it seemed to be burning. That wasn't so good. Yes. Why would it be good that the entire base would be quiet? You think there'd be a bunch of people around here making noise, do, working or whatever, or talking and existing? If it's totally quiet, that's how you get. That's what ghost towns seem like. Whoa. <laughs> I think I went sailing. Bye. Oh, I see you coming. Nope. Not sneaking up on me. As much as you'd like to try. Oh, I'm flying. I didn't know you could do that. Oh, this is not supposed to be happening. There we go. I found a glitch. <laughs> oh, I deflected the wrong attack. My mistake. Oh, -hoo -hoo. I think I just did a double critical slow-mo ending there. Where I, where I think I did the, fight, the last possible second uh, counter in both cases. There we go. Who wants them? Well, there's a dramatic sight we haven't seen yet. Is this a dead end with some treasure behind it? I'm curious. That door looks awfully important. So what's over here? Made Renato curious. It should. Ooh, chest. He says new pathway. I don't think I've been here before, have I? Energy on kill, level two! All I had to do was unequip it, and then they finally upgraded it for me. I was about to say, is that the secret to that? But then I remember that we uh, upgraded the physical resistance gem twice while I was already using it. So it's just RNG. All right, upgrading energy on kill should be very nice. Primarily because the number one ability I like to use is just the one where I, that lets me heal up. Just nice. So what's the deal with this thing? Oh. As the last raven fell, Renato felt worse than he ever had. The core was killing him again. The council members cautiously came out into the smoke. You saved us, croaked the speaker. They would put the weaponized core deep in a cavern, she promised, 
where his poison could harm no one. They would heal him if they could, she said. No, it's a weapon now. We need one. I'll lead the charge. It will kill you, croaked the speaker. I guess it already has, Renato said. She bobbed her head gravely. When all this is over, she said, we'll name our new capital city for you. He flew towards the Imperial fleet, a myriad ships in disciplined formation, waiting for the signal to destroy the rebellion forever. Behind him, the rebels were charging. If he failed, they would die. And so the final battle began. Well, this is dark. And I tried to get rid of the damn thing. Everything hurt. It was unpleasant to fight this way. With each blow he struck with his sword, he felt weaker. Yet each time the core fired, it got brighter. As if the heat for the burning ravens and buildings only fed its hunger. He wondered where Lupino was. Wasn't he supposed to be in the battle? No. He'd been captured, hadn't he? Oh, Renato's mind was smoky now, like the burning fleet. He hoped this wouldn't take long. Well, we are poor to do at the moment. It's really unfortunate, but I had this whole brilliant scheme where Lupino would accidentally destroy his entire army from within because I knew I was using the knowledge that he's a traitor against him. Which, as far as I know, I think that's the point of unlocking various truths. Door number two. I think if you unlock all these different truths, you're supposed to try to use them to abuse the, uh... You know, abuse the situation and find the hidden secrets that you could have never known the first time around. So I thought this was my... I thought this might have been my in. But it has turned out to not be the case. And now we are poisoning ourselves to death because... We tried to get rid of this damn thing, but it was all like, uh, we tried to get, when we tried to get to the Lupino and the scientists, they're all like, uh, I'm rubber and you're glue, and it came right back to me. Shield break a rank too. What does it even do? Most of these things are like some kind of percentage based thing, but shield breaker is just like, hey, you can knock shields off people. Cool. And then, then what? Sorry, mustache, thought Renato. Um... Am I missing where to go? Oh, these ships. I'm supposed to jump on a, on a ship that's going by. Pachoom! That's always dramatic. So is, are we gonna fl fly back? Oh yeah. We're meeting up to this part of the, of the level. So I think we skipped ahead a bit. Which is welcome. Oh, there's teleporters. Reynardo... Opolis. Hmm? Vulpus Major, uh, Lando Nardo. If they were going to name a capital city after him, well, he just wished he had a better name. Where was Lupino? He missed Lupino's bitter outbursts. Or did he? Lupino had gotten him into this mess, hadn't he? One little weapon swept fire across the fleet. Ravens exploded in its gaze, and with every heart beat, it grew white. He would die, but he would die every inch a hero, spectacularly changing history like the legendary heroes of war. War was pure. I couldn't remember anymore. I just noticed they've actually implemented the health decay into the system. I am slowly losing health, but I seem to be more powerful. So the uh, the, the plot oh the plot is also part of the gameplay right now. Oh, oh careful! His his head is all muddy, but the egotist of he is, of course, he would uh, dwell on how would they name how they would name a city after him. It's a fun last thought because he's running out of those, unfortunately. Um, awkward. Wait, am I missing something? Oh, here we go. Just heading the wrong way. Good thing Renato didn't have vertigo. Nope, the sickness happens whether we're up high or not. 
That's just your organs failing. At least that has a magical laser that obliterates things for me. That's pretty sweet. I'm okay with that. Ow! Oh, you were a fast one. He was. He seemed weirdly fast. There we go. Hi, everyone. Shield off, please. Come on. No shields indoors. What's wrong with you? We'll just ignore the fact that we're flying in the sky right now. Choppy, choppy, choppy. Oh, we're here. Renato fell to his knees. The Emperor's bodyguards were lined up before his ship. Fierce ravens, all. And Zenobia. She was conjuring. He could not take another step. All he could do was fire the core. The ravens, Zenobia, the ship, all burst into flames, disintegrated, and blew away. So they had one, after all. The core grew brighter. He shielded his eyes, but he could still see it through his sleeves and through the flesh of his arm. And then he felt heat as the fire grew to consume both fleets. And then he felt nothing. And he hadn't learned anything new this time. He'd done the same thing twice, yet expected a different outcome. That's not the same thing twice. I took a wildly different path, you silly game. Come on. What kind of hero are you? Oh, story, story number 20. Renardopolis. Poor name there. A hero who goes down in a blaze of glory. Five essence. The truth finder will help you find the paths that will lead to the truths you have not found yet. Look for this icon when making choices in the book. So now they're trying to guide you towards the truth. There's some great Zenobia truth that we don't know about yet. Lapino's a traitor. Iblistone corrupts anyone who uses it. The Sky Ripper core is unstable. And Zenobia something something. I guess we'll see. I was not expecting that story to end with me firing the core again. Well, I expected that by the time we hit chapter 5, of course, because that's where we were stuck at that point. But I was specifically trying to use it as a sabotage plan. And instead I burned myself away. We didn't destroy all of creation this time, we just created a massive fireball that destroyed both armies, and who knows what's left of society after that. Well, whoever wasn't at war is what's left, but who knows what shape that takes at that point. Lupino became the new king. Surprise! There would be a way to win. Renato could feel it. He'd have to explore choices he'd never made before he could figure it all out, though. And with that... The book's pages fluttered to the beginning once again, and he fell. 